Hello everyone and welcome back to Wandering Orc Plays Marwin. Today we are going to take out Calvio or whatever his name is, the vampire. Um, we have a set of extremely complicated instructions from the Ashkan Kashad. Um, I know that they're extremely complicated because I actually wrote them, wrote them down on a napkin. So uh, yeah, something tells me we're going to get there and be like, well, dude, why don't you just tell me to go here in the first place? But without further ado, let's get going. So first thing he says is to head west until you get to the mountains and then ah oh, and then kill this uh what is it what are these things again aylets it never t oh yeah it never tells me until like they go down um so yeah once oh he did is he dead no no he's moving oh poor thing it's like man now i feel kind of bad that was that was a little bit pathetic okay so head to the mountains and then as soon as i hit them Turn north and keep the mountains on my left. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. So I actually have been practicing with the bow a little bit. Uh, just to take out like cliff racers and maggots and things like in a little bit. Oh my, what the, seriously? There's just like a golden saint hanging around here. That's a little bit unexpected, but we get to hear her little anime screams again. So that's exciting. So we'll just take her out real quick. I, um... I'm really looking forward to I'm hoping that we can become the full Nereverine uh, today. So that we'll put the Hortato and the Nereverine behind us. And then uh, next things, next, uh, probably join the temple. I've been looking forward to doing that. I've been informed that there's like a pilgrimage in it for me. Uh, so I think Annalie needs to go on a pilgrimage to cleanse her soul after all the horrible things that she has done. Not that she's going to stop doing them, but right, a good, a good cleansing is in order. At least to freshen up for the next set of like evil things that she does. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. And then, oh, glass staff. Oh, that's cool! You don't find staves too often in this game. So, glass staff, dragon scale, tower shield, jeez, and a danger heart. Again, we're gonna take the shield because I, that sounds awesome. I've never found that before. I've never found a glass staff either. That is amazing. And it's a blunt weapon, which I actually have some training in, so that's pretty cool. Um, of course, I got my two blunt weapons that I use all the time. My fists. Mwah, mwah. All right. And then we have a Deja Heart. Of course, we're going to reach into her, her chest cavity and pull out her still beating, disgusting, bloody heart. And then we're going to cheer. Mwah. All right. Okay. So now we have her heart probably fit for future consumption. So I'm assuming that that's probably Nekhoft. Um, because he said to keep keep going uh, through the mountains until you reach Nekhoft. And then we're going to keep our eyes to the east, I believe it was. So let me look at my napkin here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Then look oh, I should probably look at what I'm fighting actually. Um so then yeah, just look east for two trees flanking like an entrance in the middle of like grassland hill butts. Uh I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but that's kinda how I took it. So here's Nefflush, I'm going to assume. Now we're going to look to the east. Two trees flanking hill butts. Uh, wow, this is cool. I've never been. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, not the shock. Ignore the shock. Is this like a? Oh my god, there's like a big old crossbow here. Oh, it has feet. This is the coolest shit ever. It's like a, dude. I'm, I'm in the middle of something. Like, did you really just come here to pick a fight with me? This is practically like a dwarven art gallery. Um, so we are standing next to, as far as I can, if I can actually get get out of it. Um, we're standing next to like a mech. Uh, what are they called? Um, not a crossbow. The big ones. A mech. Big crossbow. Yeah, no, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'm blanking on what those are called, but that's okay. I think you guys know what I mean. Oh my god, that is sweet! I can oh no, there's a cliff racer, let's get out of here. Okay, so anyway, so we found this place, then we have to look to the east. Okay, so it seriously says, look east for an entrance flanked by two trees on the western slope of a hill. Are we still- uh, we're just supposed to be looking east, not necessarily supposed to be heading east. Of course we're being stalked by a shock, they are the most shocking of stalkers. Um, I don't know, man. Hopefully we can find this place. Look east, look east. Oh, that looks like a mound. I mean, that could be a place for like a vampire hangs out. I'm gonna put my- I'm gonna bet on that. Oh, look at- oh, man, we're just gathering up all the wildlife here. 
To, oh, that's got to be it. That's it. That's most definitely it. I wonder if we could just head in and just ignore these guys. But honestly, we should probably heal up a little bit before we go and, and mess with a vampire. Now, I wonder. Oh, that's it. The Narano Ancestral Tomb. We actually did it. Yep. Oh, whoa. Dude, he circled. Oh, they're flanking me. Your strategy is to be admired. But it is not enough for Annalise's street feet. I will take you all out. Yes, you to the ground. Wow, this guy's a, he's actually putting up a pretty good fight. There we go, we got him down. We keep him down and now we gotta get this guy down. Yep, gonna take out the shock first. They're the most annoying here. Is this guy up yet? No, they're just gonna, oh. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty enjoyable. Look at all these guys. You shouldn't even have come. Is there a reason that you attack me? To keep disease kagooty booty? Like, is there a reason for that? Oh my god, there's another shock. He just did, like, shock Rasengan. Like, he was hidden the entire time underneath the other shock and, and nobody even knew it. They seriously are the sneakiest of beasts, I tell ya. Is he dead? He's dead. Now we just gotta take out Mr. Kagooty Booty and we are good! Yes, we'll dispose of all the corpses because we don't want to alert the vampire to our presence before we even go in. We gotta get rid of these guys. Alright, good. Now we're gonna uh, hide behind this tree, just in case he like comes out in the middle of the night to, I don't know, take a breather, look at the moon. It's not like he can look at the sun, right? I'm assuming that vampires in this work the same as vampires in like, I don't know, every piece of literature ever except for Twilight. So he probably doesn't sparkle, especially if this guy wants him to die, or maybe he does. Maybe uh, Ashkan Kashad is like really against sparkling vampires. So we're gonna quick save, just in case we get like afflicted with vampirism. We don't want to sparkle. Annalise's already too glorious. If she sparkled, the world would probably fall apart. Ew, gross. Do you smell that? Neither do I, but I hear those bugs, and that makes me think that it smells really bad in here. <gasps> no! I hate these guys. Why did they have to do that? Why did they have to do that? Can I? Can he see me? I think he can. Shh, nice. That was bad. He's gonna cast all his stuff on me. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Oh my god. We're so much better than we used to be. Ew, listen to him breathe. Oh. Well, you're definitely gonna have to restore some points after this one because they do some like perma damage to my stuff. All right. Mr. Bone Meal. All right, what did he damage? Look at that, he's sapping my strength. So we can't carry nearly, oh, well, we can still carry a lot. Okay, gonna quick save again. That really didn't go as bad as it could have. What's this, like his dead cousin? His dead, bald cousin, Solus, is laying here. Danders. Wait a minute, is somebody else in here? Mr. Danders hanging out. Oh my God, another staff. This is our lucky day. Those flies, dude. So since this place is gonna be like really insane, I am going to turn the effects down because that is too much. Oh, and the music up and effects down. How about that? Much better. We'll listen to some beautiful, sweet Jeremy soul. Get some soul music down here and uh, completely ignore those uh, flies that keep buzzing all around the place, so. All right, we are also gonna get our light spell out because I know from experience these places tend to be quite dark. Let's see what kind of sca- hey, oh look, he's just chilling. Oh my God, he was just like scratching his head. Oh, he doesn't want anything to do with this. Oh my God. No, look at him. Oh, I hope I can talk to him. Oh, no, I can't look at, he's, he's finally figured it out. He's like, wait, why? what, huh? I was just like, I'm sorry, dude. It's okay, I can't judge you. Oh, 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 I hope this other skeleton is hitting him. That would be hilarious. Yeah, you are kind of stupid, honestly. I stood there for quite some time before you realized that I was there. That I will say. Now, he's not quite as fabulous looking as like the Nordic neckbeard uh, skeletons that we've seen in the past, but he is rocking some like leather curious. It's gonna bother me all day about what those giant crossbow things are called. Now, I only ever learned it from Age of Empires anyway, so it might not have been right. It's like Arbital or uh, Arbol or, hmm. All right, so this guy's just hanging out. He's like, oh, I'm tired. I'm so tired. I do all the work and my coworker just stands there and doesn't do shit. 
Man, I hear you. We've all been there, huh? Yes, we have. Oh, look, he's getting up now, though. He's gonna come. He's, like, trying to make up for lost time. Now he realizes that you're dying. And, uh, he's trying to be a pal in, in the last minute, so. Man, he goes down way easier, though. Alright, so he's done. We'll take out Skeletal Champion, who, again, has given up on all undeath. Ah. Uh, and he's done for. So, yep, we're just gonna leave a whole bunch of corpses here. I really don't want to pick up all their crap and get rid of it later, so we're just gonna kind of kind of deal with it. Ooh, thanks. Ten gold. I'm only taking it because I can. This is just a vampire crypt anyway, right? Screw this guy. All right, so, oh my god. Oh my god. Ursine. Oh! <gasps> Rusty key to the Enderin tomb. I'll take it, but I'll take your gold too out of respect. And what else do we got? Nothing else. Are these people really dead? Are they gonna like pop up and grab me? Oh, a note from Bacharach! Is this Bacharach? No, this is Morris. Oh man. Key to Nerano chest. Yes, taking it. All right. Uh, also taking that gold because. Why not, right? Okay, so we're gonna get our light spell out again. I don't think- oh, oh, oh! The key to Nerano chest was used to open that lock. What's in it? It's just an expensive green ring. Well, whatever. Better than nothing, I suppose. Now, oh, right. What we have to read- oh, what's this? The Ransom of Zarek! <gasps> Jalemel stood in her garden and read the letter her servant had brought to her. The bouquet of Joss roses in her hand fell to the ground. Oh, we're taking it. We're taking it, and we will continue that reading session. Uh, not too far from now, hopefully. Common skirt, gross. Note from Bacharach. Let's see what we got. Morris, you boys better clear out. Our position was given away, and we were raided by that bastard Goris. He sent a small band of the dead to draw us and wiped out all but Leuven. He was able to make it back here to nail us to warn us. We're clearing out and heading for a new location. I suggest you and your boys get out of there as soon as possible. We have a snitch in our organization. You let me find out who it is and I'll feed their flesh to the crabs. It seems just as though he knows all of our raiding routes. It's just a matter of time before Gora sends them damned and dead your way. I'll never turn those goods over to that necro. What's fair is fair and he had to pay up. You know where I'm coming from. I'm sending Ursine to deliver this message to you. She will deliver the key so you can gain entry to the rendezvous point. See you soon, and good luck, brother. Bacharach. Oh, Bacharach. Um, I'm gonna take that. Bad news, Bacharach. Uh, I don't know how this happened, but Ursine delivered the note to Morris and they put it on the table and apparently they were having a good time and someone took their skirt off and uh, then they both died. So, I don't, I, I don't wanna, I don't, I am not a very good detective. I think I should probably just come clean about that because you probably didn't notice. So, yeah. Okay, um, so continuing on, another quick save here. Away from the tragic note passers. Of, oh, shnikes. Oh, oh my god. What was cast on me? Did you see that? That was actually kind of cool. Poison. I'll just wait for that to wear off, uh, hopefully. Any day now, you know. Probably should have checked to see if that- Oh, oh no! Oh, oh my god, I thought it was a bone walker, but it's not. It's just like a- Look at him! Look at him! He's so anxious, he's so anxious to succeed where his comrades have failed. Um, what's that? Oh, rat meat, gross. So, um, it's not really- That's- That's not going away. Is that going to go away? Is that just gonna stay on me forever? Huh. This is awkward, but you know what I think I have, and I totally forgot about it. I think I have some cure poison on me somewhere. Oh, that's resist poison. Well, well. Mm, I think I actually have a spell for cure poison. Let me look through here and see if I can find it. So here's a dispel. That did the trick. So I dispelled it off of me. It also got rid of my light spell. Uh, but that's okay now. We can like uh, take a health potion here. And see how badass we are by how much it'll fill us up. That is handy, though. Okay, we'll put another self-light on. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna head back out and we're gonna see if we can rest up uh, near the entrance a little bit. No, we cannot. Well, screw it. More potions it is. More potions it is. We don't want to spend more time here than we have to, so... We use a superb, and... There we go. 
Gonna quick save again because we already uh, passed that trap and I would say that we, we passed that test with flying colors actually. We kind of failed it at first, but then we did okay. Oh, look at, look at, look at, there he is. Here he is, oh, oh, he's beautiful. Ghost, get out of the way. Get out of the, oh, he's gorgeous. Do you see him? He is a twilight vampire. Oh, he absolutely is. What God, is this guy casting it. on me? Oh, oh my God, stupid. Oh, I'm not trying to insult you, I swear. It's just my impulse. Oh, he's going down already. He's not Ancestor Ghost. Why is it still saying, oh, Calvario. Calvario. Ugh. Oh, how sorry I am to kill you, Calvario. Oh, damn. He's got a ton of life. I guess he should, though. I mean, he has this crypt all to himself. I wonder who he took it from. Probably that ghost. Actually, I wonder if him and that ghost were buddies. Now, I guess I could feel a little bad about that. His shirt is rocking. Seriously, have I seen that before? I certainly don't recall it. That's definitely cool. Calvario, I have to ask you, where do you get your eyeshadow? Is that is that like Sephora Midnight Sparkle or something like that? Also, he's got like some killer contacts in. Your cosplay is on point. No, for real though, he is like awesome looking. He's the coolest looking vampire I've seen. I've only seen a couple others. Um, I murdered them, of course, uh, but yeah, he is easily the coolest that I've seen. I don't know why he hasn't been accepted into like a coven. Is that what they're called? Vampire cousins? Like you have a gaggle of geese and a pack of dogs and a coven of vampires. I think so. I mean, that sounds about right. The coven of Calvario. Maybe he was here to start his own coven. Oh shit, what did he do to me? Did he cast Feather on me? That's a little bit bizarre. Okay, he is dead. Calvario, you were actually not that tough. Common shoes, expensive shirt. Yeah, I'm taking that. Sorry, Calvario. I know it's kind of, you know, a little bit rude to leave you like shirtless in your own house, but that's just how it's got to be, bro. All right. Oh, look, he's, do you see that? Whoa, he's like still there. Okay, we'll clear that out of here. And what do we got? Resist fire? Nothing. I always have to desecrate the dead by opening up their urns. It's very, very important. Okay, so this is trapped. We're not gonna fall for the same trick twice. We're gonna get out our probe here. Bam, bam. One of these days, it's gonna succeed. Any day now. Maybe I need like a better one. All right, so we will take out our journeyman's probe. What were we using? Our apprentice's probe? Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, let's see what's in here. Dwemer left bracer, you know what? We op we spent all that time to open that, so we're just gonna take it anyway. What do we got here? Quick wheat, quick wheat. Um, Nothing really is looking like it's worth. Also some creepy whispering, we're pretty used to that by now. Uh, nothing looking like it's worth taking. So we basically, I don't understand. Did he like kill these people? Like they were just chilling out here having a grand old time and then he just, who were you? You were Danders, you weren't even mentioned in the note. Danders, you weren't even important enough to mention in that note. Sorry, Danders, okay. Back into the Grayslands region where it is a glorious night. If we were infected with vampirism, uh, we'd probably start to sparkle. Oh wait, that's in like the sunlight or something. I'm gonna take our little uh, journeyman's probe back off. We're also gonna give ourselves a little rest here. Oh God. Oh, spazzy nipple ring, Ogrim. At your service. So I'm just gonna take out this guy real quick and then we are going to head right back to uh, Mr. Kashad and let him know that we killed his arch nemesis who we probably was actually just jealous of the entire time. At least that's kind of what he was seeming like cause God, that guy, Calvio or whatever his name was, he was beauteous. All right, so there we go. Again, ripping out his heart and heading back south. Man, he really was like, oh, yeah, I think you're probably gonna get lost because you're not around. Look, there's even like a road that like goes here. You couldn't have just directed me to the road. No, I guess that probably would have been just a little bit too easy. Oh, look, look. Oh my God, is that another? Am I being followed by something right now? Uh, I think there's another golden saint right up ahead. So let's see if we can't go uh, say howdy to lady saint up there. 
Oh yeah, she saw us coming. Yes, more like glass blades. That is just awesome. Who else? You? Oh, I'm not too worried about him. He can kind of chill. Let's see if we can keep uh, her between us, actually. You've come between our love, Golden Saint. How dare you? You know what? I gotta, I gotta <sighs> take this guy. Oh, she, she is whooping my ass. All right. Strategy. It's not my strong point, but uh, that's what we're gonna do. So we are gonna take her out first here. Maybe I could just cast some enfeebling spells on her or something. <laughs> Mr. Kagooty Booty, Stop you it. are just driving me nuts. So let's see if we can't take you down. Do I have another one on me? <gasps> oh, she's just back up, that's all. Okay, so now we're gonna take out the Kagooty Booty. Oh, we have a rat. We got a rat in our midst. That's pretty much what that letter was saying too. All right, so Kagooty Booty down, taking out the rat. Golden Saint is back up. All right, so let's get this little, this little cutie out of the way. Look how cute he is. He's not cute. He's not cute at all. That's one of the reasons that I don't want a uh, a rat from that like scrib seller in Mornhold. It's always got to be a scrib. Scribs are so much cuter. Sorry, rat. You guys are only good for a little bit of nasty meat. I'm sure, they hear that all the time though. That's probably why they're so pissed and just attack everything in the wilderness. Also. They are very aggressive. Rats in this game are just incredibly aggressive. That's probably why you can go ask like any orc about cave rats and they're like, look, I can tell you about some aggressive cave rats, okay? Like, you know, I know, we all know, but let me just tell you. Uh, okay, all right, so we got our golden saint out of the way here. We're gonna take everything again. Glass claymore, woo! Iron shield and danger heart, okay. And Kagooty Booty, you are out. And Mr. Rat, I... I'm sad to say you are also out and dead and I took your meat. I skinned him and I took his meat, which is kind of gross, but that's what I did, so hey. Uh, so again, heading so oh, is there anything over there? Oh, I thought there were people. Oh, there are! There are people down there! Oh, but I'm gonna go and they're just gonna attack me. They're gonna be like, oh, we hate you, Outlander. Enwa, Fetcher, Flaw, just everything. Everything right at me, so I'm, I'm not gonna deal with that right now. We're just gonna go. Let's get down to business. Bear bear. Oh, there's a shock. Let's see if I can avoid the shock. I probably can't. They're the stealthiest creatures on the planet. And he will follow me to the ends of the earth, or at least until I like zone or something. God, there's something else up there too. Almost there though. Seriously, we're almost there. Can I just uh Maybe just until we get there, yeah? Yeah, that's the way to do it. Okay. Oh yes! But now I'm gonna walk up and he's gonna be like, who's there? I can't see a thing. Okay, we'll put our fists away here and we will go talk to the Ashkan and hopefully he's gonna name us uh, his best friend because we killed his rival in beauty. Don't think I don't know, Ashkan. Don't think I don't know. Oh yeah, he's like, no one can beat me when I wear my hat except that vampire. Is he dead? Welcome Outlander. Oh, hello. Um, Actually, I have something. To I'm gonna ask you about the Nerano Estra uh, Ancestral Tomb. No, that's not. Okay, I'm gonna ask you about vampires. Nereverine? I'll ask about Nereverine. Well, so you killed the vampire Calvario. Hmm. Well, I'll be happy to acknowledge you as the Zainab Nereverine, but it is customary for one seeking an honor from the Ashkan to offer the Ashkan a generous gift as a mark of respect. Because you are an outlander and do not know our customs, I will do you the great favor of, us, of naming the gift I wish to receive. A high-born Telvani- <laughs> Excuse me? A high-born Telvani bride. A pretty one. Plump with big hips to bring me many sons. Holy shit! You're not just asking for a gift, you're asking for like a life partner. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. I mean, uh... Yeah, I'm sure that can, uh, that, that, that can be, uh, done. That's why he wanted to get Calvario out of the way. Probably because his chosen mate was, like, having the hots for the vampire in the Nerano Ancestral Tomb, eh? All right, so... Where will you find a Highborn Telvanni bride? That is simple. You should visit Highborn Telvanni lords and inform them that the Ashkan Kashad of the Lordly Zainab would do them the honor of making their daughter his bride. Surely many Telvanni lords would be honored to receive such an offer. 
consider carefully the many daughters offered and choose me the finest. Take counsel with my wise woman, Sonomo Zabamata. She knows my mind well in such matters. Hmm. Wow, she was not kidding. He is a haughty bastard. And I don't just mean H-O-T-T-I-E. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, we're going to go confer with the wise woman and see what she has to say on the matter. Um, damn. I... Admittedly... He kind of surprised me with that one. I did not see that coming. Ah. Uh, lots of really desperate men in this game. Okay, so. Sonamu Zabamat. Hello. Uh, I bow. Uh, I actually have something really awkward to talk with you about. You wish to ask me about the trade goods wanted by the Zanabask, and I shall answer. Actually, that's not exactly what I'm here for. Oh, God, this is awkward. Um, so what I'm trying to, to ask you <clears throat> is, uh... About Ashkan Kashad, okay? Um, so, uh, I'm asking for her counsel, all right? Which is pretty much the same thing that I've asked before. Uh, so now she's going to tell me specifically on the subject of the bride. Kashad wants a Telvani bride, eh? No highborn Telvani would wed an Ashlander. But I have a plan. Go to my friend, Savil Imain, slave mistress of the festival slave market in Telarun. And tell her you need a pretty Dunmer slave to pose as a Telvani lady. Then Seville Emain will tell you what clothes to buy and will dress her like a highborn Telvani. Then escort the pretty slave to the Zainab camp and present her to Ashkan Kashad as a highborn Telvani bride. He won't know the difference. Ho ho ho, damn, Sanumo Zabamat. Well, he said she knows his tastes, so I'm gonna go with what she says. It's a little messed up that I'm going to have to be buying a, say, a slave when I have been freeing them this entire time, but I guess it might be better for said slave to be like, I don't know, have some sort of freedom instead of being, I don't know, a slave. So we'll see how this works, uh, but kind of makes me feel a little bit dirty. All right. So I need to go to the festival slave market in Telarune now. The uh, This could be problematic because I actually bought all those slaves and uh, freed them. So we will see... Uh, how that's actually gonna go, but that's gonna have to wait for next time. We are out of time, uh, so hopefully, you know, next time we're gonna hook, a, hook our brother uh, Kashad up and see how how exactly that works out. Because apparently, killing the handsome vampire was not enough for him. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.